Hey everyone, Sarah from Easy English Club. Back with another British English lesson. This is part of the Ask Easy English Club series where my students have a question and I do a video to explain it. So if you guys, my viewers, have questions or difficulties, pop it down there in the comments or send me a message on Facebook or find me on Instagram. Now you know what I'm going to ask you to do if I haven't done it already. Give me the thumbs up guys if you find the video useful. Thank you, I appreciate it. So today's lesson, understanding the difference between advice and advise with meanings and examples in British English. Okay, advice. Two syllables, guys. Advice. Easy way to remember it and to tell the difference is this one has an ice on the end. You know the stuff you put in your drink of water? Ice. So that's advice. Now, what advice is, it's a noun. It's like a suggestion of what should be done. You can take advice or you can give advice. They're like pieces of words that you give to help somebody, like an opinion. You, it guides you. Example sentences. This may help you understand a little more. Thank you for your advice. For example, I tell my viewers, please watch English videos. That's a piece of advice. Another example. I will ask the doctor for his advice about my sore throat or my headache. So really guys, advice is something that you give or something that you receive. Somebody gives you advice. It's like help. It guides you. Um, advise is a verb. This one has got eyes on the end. I-Z-E. Vise. It's advise. Two syllables, guys. Advise. Now, this is like a suggestion of what should be done. You make recommendations. It's like performing an action. Example sentences. I would advise you to watch English videos. Another example. I was advised that I would need some money. Repeat that back, guys. I'm a listen. Sounds good. Next one. I can advise you about your English. Now, you can't have advices and you can't have advises. It's either advice or I received advice. I give you my advice. And you can say, I was advised. Like my teacher advised me to listen and practice my English. I hope that clears it up for you guys. Remember, advice has got ice on the end. Advise has got vise on the end. I'll put it down there in the transcript and the subtitles. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit the bell icon. You'll know when there's new content. Appreciate your attention. Come see us on the Easy English Facebook page and you can join the group too. 
got a question, pop it down there in the comments and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.